The latest government numbers show the use of food stamps among the FLDS is on the rise, and the numbers are shocking compared to the rest of the state. Lad Egan is live in southern Utah with more for us tonight. Lad, what type of percentages are we looking at? Well, Shauna, let's look at the uh, two communities of Hilldale and Colorado City separately. On the Arizona side, in Colorado City, 81% of people there on food stamps. On the Utah side, about 61% of the people on those food stamps. A very high concentration and very high numbers when compared to the state averages of just 9% of people on food stamps. And I was a local news editor during the time when Warren Jeffs was on trial. As a journalist and author, Ed Cosilia has covered the cities of Colorado City and Hildell for over two decades. The food stamp situation is what they would technically call bleeding the beast. He says that polygamous use of government welfare is nothing new. A typical plural family out there has, say, five wives, five kids each. We're, we're looking at a little more than $13,000 a month. Per family. Cosilia says the high use of government resources by polygamists is their payback for government intervention. Well, bleeding the beast is a reaction to the, uh, the feelings that the folks out there have towards the government. The most recent numbers available for the two cities show just how high the food stamp saturation level is. Combined recipients in Colorado City and Hildale is 5,641 of a total population of 7,663. That equals about 73 percent of residents on food stamps. That's a big increase, especially on the Utah side of the border, where cases have nearly tripled since 2008. There's no documentation with the state. There's no way of saying that this woman is part of a plural marriage. It's easy for polygamous families to get thousands a month, Cosilia says, especially since, in the eyes of the state, women in plural marriages are considered single moms. When a child is born into one of these plural marriages, father's name unknown, which immediately kicks them up as, as they go through the benefits program. Observers of the polygamous communities tell me that government assistance, the welfare uh, benefits are frequently pooled and used to possibly stock food in centralized uh, church food warehouses called Bishop Storehouses. And looking at these numbers and talking to state officials, they say across the state of Utah, because of the recession, the use of food stamp uh, uh, recipients has gone up, but it has leveled off and is falling statewide. But Shauna, there in the uh, polygamous communities, its use continues to rise. Back to you. Those are big numbers, lad. All right. Thanks very much.